is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Jackowitz, this is The Cage Review. And I said in my last post that I had a couple of things that I wanted to add into life and how to live, and a couple of things that were just really gnawing at me. One was um, the body positivity thing and how it's really kind of the opposite of what it should be. Well, the other was brought on by this recent case with um, Kavanaugh and Christine Ford. And uh, Christine Ford, of course, being the woman who accused the gentleman who was supposed to become Supreme Court Judge Kavanaugh uh, of rape, or at least sexual assault of some kind. And here's what I've noticed about our country lately. We have become a society where, as I said in the last post, everything is kind of like affirmation and and things like that, but it's also kind of created the opposite effect, which is these people who just mob together to attack um, basically the other side of their belief, whatever that is. Democrats fight Republicans, uh, Christians, atheists, whatever it is. If it's the opposite of what I believe, we have to attack. And that really shined through in this court case because everybody had an opinion on it. On social media, every single person I knew was talking about it. And I kept from social media on those subjects. I didn't add anything to it because, quite frankly, I'm not going to get anywhere. But I did want to share my thoughts here. Because here's what I noticed about people who were dealing with this Kavanaugh case or Ford it was one of two things, essentially. It was, I've had an experience with rape. I've had an experience with sexual assault. So I'm going to attack Kavanaugh and Ford must be right. The other side of that coin was, I've had no experience with rape. I don't know anything about it. I'm going to say Ford is lying her ass off. And it became my opinion of this situation is a factual thing here. And the truth didn't matter to anybody. Nobody was fighting for the truth. Nobody said, how do we get to the real what happened between these two? No one was trying to dig a little deeper and say, is there any basis for her claims? No one was saying, is there any basis to what he's saying? It was literally all about personal experience. And personal experience made everybody else's opinion a loud, vicious attack to the other side. Even all the way up to the hearings themselves. And it was an embarrassment for our country because it is showing... The people with the most power in this country are still self-centered little jackasses who have to scream, I'm right. And I hated to see that. I didn't say anything because I don't know what the hell happened. Maybe Ford's right. Maybe Kavanaugh's right. I wasn't there. And there's no way we're really going to know the truth. Maybe it was something the Democrats cooked up to try to keep Kavanaugh out. Maybe it was a legitimate claim because a woman saw a man trying to get into a bit, position of very big power and didn't want to see that happen. Both arguments are valid in my view. Republicans will sit there and defend anybody that is Republican. Because he's Republican. It doesn't matter if he's right or wrong. It doesn't matter what kind of heinous shit he might have done in his past. He's Republican. So therefore, they're going to fight for him. Democrats. They will absolutely fight against a Republican. Not really caring if they're destroying a man's life, relationship, or future. That man is a Republican, so we are going to attack him. Because he is different. This is why I hate politics. This is why I don't trust politics. I wouldn't trust a politician to go out there and detail my car. I wouldn't. I don't believe in what politics has become. These people are not politicians fighting for our rights or trying to do something good for us. They're posturing 
They're poster boys, poster girls. And that's all it is. And I really think that it's disgusting. It really shows how somehow our entire society has shifted to it is all about me. And all about me means my life, my experiences. That is all that matters. I don't care about the truth. I don't care about who did what to who. I don't care who's been hurt. All I care about is me, my beliefs, my political beliefs, my personal beliefs. And I cannot stomach that. And I want people to start to be able to think for themselves again because we've lost critical thinking in this country entirely. We have lost the ability to not get drawn into a group of people like the sheep and just run with the flock. And I don't understand it. I don't get how people have become so unthinking. So ladies and gentlemen, this is something I really wish we could change. Unfortunately, with the advent of social media, I've said before, people have had the ability to become so self-absorbed, so self-involved. You know, if especially, and I hate to say it like this, but especially if somebody has um, looks on their side, it's like they have so many people with all these affirmations and, oh, you're so beautiful, and then, you know, they start speaking their opinions, and these douchebags, especially when it comes to women, are just going to say, oh, yeah, you're totally right, knowing they don't even care. And... And so we've really lost our ability to think. Now, it's a generalization, of course. I don't mean every guy is like that or every woman is like this or whatever. It is a generalization. There are always going to be exceptions to every rule. But in a case like this, where I see so many people so aggressive and just arguing with so much passion even though they don't know a damn thing about what they're really arguing about. You know, I get accusations. I get accusations may not always be real. I understand what they can do to a person's life. I understand that sometimes they're valid. And that's why I say, man, it really kind of pisses me off when I see social media in situations like this. Kavanaugh, he is now officially elected as a Supreme Court Justice. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter now. He's in. I don't know what happened. So I don't know if I like it or dislike it. Are there questions? Of course. Are there questions I feel still need to be answered? Yes. But that's the thing is, until these questions are answered completely, there's only a handful of people that actually know what happened. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think about that. I want you to let me know what you think about what I'm saying. I get that there's controversy in this. I get that people are passionate and people that have been sexually assaulted or raped, of course they're going to be passionate about it because it's something very personal. And having been there myself, I have been raped before and sexually abused. It is a very deep personal subject. But I would not say, yeah, he did it, just because someone said so. Give me the evidence. If he did do it, of course I don't want him as a justice in the Supreme Court. But it is the burden of evidence at this point. And that's where it really comes down to. So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, give me your thoughts on this situation. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this post, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackwoods. Cage Nation, out.